India and France have been good friends in space and on Earth. I have with me Dr. Jean-Yves Lecard, who is the head of the French Space Agency. And India and France are ready to undertake a new chapter in space exploration. Dr. Legal, what are the new things which are in the offing in the Indo-French space friendship? In fact, uh, we have uh, these days uh, President uh, Emmanuel Macron for a state visit uh, here in India. And uh, today, uh, in front of uh, President Macron and the Prime Minister Modi, we announced two uh, very important uh, agreements for our cooperation. Uh, the first one is a global uh, space policy agreement, uh, which clearly demonstrates the importance of the strategic partnership in space between uh, India and France. And it's a kind of achievement of uh, our cooperation because this cooperation started in 1964 already uh, 55 years 54 years ago and uh, since then we had uh, a number of uh, tremendous successes and this is uh, what uh, is written in this agreement because uh, we want to capitalize on this heritage to uh, prepare for the future and uh, the second agreement is a direct application of this first uh, global agreement and uh, it is the idea to jointly develop a constellation with uh, micro satellites with a number of payloads which will be on board. So you see, we have satellites in orbit, uh, we have satellites that we are going to launch and now we are preparing the future. This would be the first time India would be making a constellation along with a foreign country. A very significant step. And what would this constellation of satellites do? In fact, uh, on these constellations, uh, which uh, will uh, be constituted by uh, six or seven or uh, eight satellites, we will have a number of payloads for uh, remote sensing and uh, telecommunications. We are going to define exactly what will be the mission of the satellites in the coming months. But what is very important is that uh, we inked this morning uh, this agreement uh, with my colleague, uh, Mr. Uh, Sivan K from uh, the ISRO, and that uh, it has been endorsed by uh, your Prime Minister and uh, the French President. And and what about there's a new satellite also, an Earth observation satellite in the offing called Trishna? Yes, this is uh, the continuation of uh, the two uh, present satellites which are in orbit, uh, Megatropic that uh, we launched together in 2011 and uh, Saral Altica that uh, we launched in uh, February 2013. And now uh, we are preparing the future with a new satellite devoted to Earth observation and we decided to nickname it uh, Trishna because Trishna is uh, an Indian word uh, which is, uh, in my opinion, uh, self uh, explaining yes it means thirst and yes. and 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 the world is getting increasingly thirsty because there is a lot of lack of fresh water so appropriately named and appropriately between two countries also is there any cooperation for planetary exploration and what is that we are thinking also about uh, the future because, as you know, France has a long heritage in uh, planetary exploration uh, with uh, projects uh, which uh, took us in cooperation to Venus, other projects uh, which are going to take us uh, to Mars. And uh, India has also a number of projects. And so our scientific uh, communities uh, want to discuss. And of course, uh, we encourage uh, these discussions because if we could have another cooperation about uh, planetary exploration, exploration it would be uh, perfect so so looking at putting joint rovers on moon and mars it's, it could be an idea. Today, uh, nothing is uh, yet defined, but uh, we are in the process uh, to think about that, as uh, we were in the process uh, to think about uh, Krishna or the constellation one or two years ago, and now it's a reality. So, you see, we have a very dense, a very uh, brilliant uh, cooperation, and I am sure that uh, it will be a cooperation uh, very, very shining in the future. Uh, some effort also on studying Venus, a little studied planet. Uh, I, I saw the mention about Venus and some intense cooperation on that. Uh, uh, what is the kind of cooperation on studying Venus? 
We have a number of uh, scientists uh, in France, as a matter of fact, for instance, uh, Professor Blamont, who is uh, quite old since uh, he was uh, instrumental in the beginning of the cooperation between uh, India and France, but uh, he is still uh, very active and uh, he has an idea to uh, send the balloons in uh, the upper atmosphere of Venus. And uh, why not? It could be an idea. But you see, uh, we have uh, a great number of ideas and uh, we have uh, exchanges between our teams uh, which are uh, more and more frequent myself I used to visit India three or four times a year and it's a real demonstration that uh, our cooperation is uh, very very alive and kicking and and on planetary exploration would this involve jointly developing full missions in future or will it re remain to development of some payloads and a contribution of specialists from France to India I think that the idea is rather to uh, propose the payloads to our Indian partners, but uh, satellites uh, are moving very, very quickly because satellites are smaller and smaller. And uh, in the past, uh, you had a clear separation between uh, the platform and the payload. And today, uh, payload and the platform are very closely integrated. And uh, it is why uh, this cooperation uh, is so important because we can bring uh, what uh, we want to do Uh, in the field of science. Uh, our uh, Indian colleagues uh, bring the uh, experience uh, of uh, planetary exploration, uh, which has been uh, fully demonstrated with uh, Shanghaiian and uh, Mangalian. And uh, so uh, we will uh, develop uh, joint satellites. But in the future, I am sure the separation between a payload and platform uh, will be uh, less obvious than today. And so it will be a joint satellite. Uh, there is also mention about human space flight. Uh, now, wh what what are India and France planning jointly on human space flight? It is clear that uh, today uh, France is uh, deeply involved in the International Space Station within the frame of the European Space Agency and uh, the International Space Station uh, gathers uh, the US, Russia, Japan, Canada and Europe and uh, India is missing. And so uh, on its side, uh, India has a number of projects for uh, human space flights and I am sure that in the coming years we will have an increased cooperation between all the nations involved in uh, human space flights and uh, I am sure that we'll find a way to cooperate also on this topic. So, so would it be jointly developing some biological systems or would you be looking at jointly developing full rockets which could take Indian and French astronauts into space? No, I think that uh, as usual, we are going to start by developing uh, scientific experiments and uh, it will create a kind of a momentum, uh, an ecosystem uh, adapted to human space flights. And after that, uh, future will tell. Any time frame for human space flight? I think that it will be probably the next decade because uh, in the coming years uh, we will have uh, very important decisions uh, to be uh, taken. And uh, last week uh, India and France uh, attended the uh, International Space Exploration Forum uh, in Tokyo when we discussed the future of uh, human space flight and it is clear that uh, both India and France uh, have uh, a key role to play in this exploration. So that was Dr. Legal telling us that India and France have a deep cooperation in space and in future both could not only explore Venus together, Mars, Moon, but also look at putting humans in space. In New Delhi, Pallav Bagla. <laughs>